So, I'm tallest down. <laughs> I'm just joking. Welcome to my first ever vlog. Good luck to me. I am just 12 years old and during this pandemic. I'm one of those not allowed to go out of the house being one of those classified as vulnerable to COVID-19. Staying inside and being locked down for security reasons is becoming nonsense and boring health-wise. Exercise is restricted. The air we breathe becomes unhealthy for long, complicated by poor ventilation. However, I will let you on a secret. What is one way to make the air we breathe inside our home? Help? The answer is... Da-da! Do what? Yes, prayer. There are a wide variety of these plants. A few of the more common include birds, nest, snake plants. Also referred to Plantiferia golden honey. This plant is relatively small, growing to only 6 inches tall. The leaves from clusters that closely resemble a cup. Similar to a bird's nest, it forms into a slow rosette of erect, over gray-green leaves with dark green cross bands and broad creamy yellow. The next one is the Lindstrick snake plant. That's the name. That's the various cylindrical snake plant. The Sassiferia cylindrica has round leaves that can grow several feet in length. The leaves from this plant reach outward to resemble a crown. And the last one is Laurenti Sansiferia. The Laurenti is also a popular snake plant, known for its green colored center and yellow margin. Expect the striped snake plant to grow to between 2 and 4 feet, 60 to 120 cm tall. This robust type of leafy plant grows well in most conditions due to its tall growing nature. It is a good type of tropical houseplant to a place in corners where some height is needed. How to take care of a snake plant? If you plan to have a snake plant in your home, here are a couple of things to keep in your mind. Propagate easiest by dividing snake plant right on. Plant in easy draining soil and a pot with drainage. Don't overwater. Too much water is the plant's weakness. Place the snake plant in a well-drained pot to avoid overwatering. As it can cause rotting, only water the soil when it's completely dry. Indirect sunlight is best. Partial sun works best for snake plants, so it can still grow in darker corners or in brighter corner or in a brighter window area it completely shaded that the plant can dull and the leaves may become a bit floppy so take it away snake plants are proven to be as useful as they are visually appealing they can grow indoors and outdoors with little to no maintenance what more snake plants can also help with to filter indoor air an attribute that can keep you safe and healthy? So folks watching right now, please consider adding a snake plant to your home for both aesthetic and health reasons. Come on! Find snake plants now! Goodbye!